Now we conclude with Stephen and Susan from Power of One. Give them a hand clap of praise. Let them hear you. We have a dream. The people of this wonderful nation have the opportunity to help co-create a whole new world of the people, by the people, with the planet, inspiring all of humanity from this time forward. to anchor those uh, qualities of peace and love and uh, divine justice. Uh, it's very important to um, come together, especially today, 10-10-10, to be able to um, show mankind on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial uh, how we should be. And the Declaration of Interdependence is so important. Um, Constitution Day was September 17, 1789. And today, 10, 10, 10, we have the Declaration of Interdependence, which is a step higher. It's a higher standard than even the U.S. Constitution is. And so as we evolve and we see the different um, um, coming together of these declarations, we see how beautiful uh, mankind has been able to evolve. And I just saw the birds flying in a V-shape right across the memorial. So that was an extra little tidbit. My dream world is for everyone to find the truth and the wisdom, the innate power we all have, and to actually and practically bring that wisdom into reality and uh, see the same, the same power and the same reality being manifested by everyone. A perfect world would be, uh, for me, a world where we all reach out to one another, where there's uh, peace, oneness, where we all respect each other's religions. And even believe beyond that, you know, we just get beyond all of the uh, theologies and uh, just embrace the oneness of all, the God within. And how do we achieve that? Showing love and kindness and respect to everyone we meet, regardless of um, where they are, what you know, whatever part of the path that they're on, because we're all on different paths, but it's all going back to source. And uh, I dream of a perfect world where uh, everybody is treated equal. There are no boundaries. There is there are no differences. Everybody is treated as a human being and the human beings also realize that they are part of the nature, respect the nature and uh, live along with all other beings on the planet. Well, one of the elements is to be so aware that we are so profoundly connected, always have been, and it can't be otherwise unless we are separated in our heart. So that consciousness of profound connection to one another, the planet, the cosmos, our Mother Earth, and so when we know that in our hearts and practice it in daily lives, the, uh, the beauty of, of daily life unfolds uh, right out the back door. Wherever we are, we are radiating peace, harmony, love, beauty in every single part of daily life. And that includes how we grow our food and how we build our homes and how we create uh, beautiful local and regional economies that are truly... Uh, ecologically restorative, regenerative, and okay. nurturing of the heart and soul for everyone. All, all species for all time. Yes. It only takes one person to bring a change to this world, and I have to be the change I want to see in this world. I'm Laura Dunham, one of the co-founders of Power of One, and I'm here on this gorgeous day on the Washington Mall with 
uh, Anna Burgess, who is just back from Costa Rica, who was called to come to this event, and I'd like for her to share her story with you. Hi, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm very glad to be here. Um, actually, after Costa Rica, I was in Hawaii more recently, and I was there at an event um, in July, a uh, convergence event with, mm -hmm. uh, with Carl Kalaman. Yes. And mm -hmm. uh, I was very thrilled to be there. I love doing energy work and just joining with the light workers of the world to do what we're here to do, which is to raise the consciousness of, of, the, of the planet and yes. get together and see each other as one. Yeah. So he, um, I was asking for guidance a couple of weeks ago about what to event to attend or w where to put my energy on 1010. And uh, the very next day, I got an email from Carl uh, telling me about this event happening. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm thrilled to be here. Well, and it's wonderful that you put out that, that call uh, to be guided to a, a specific event and that you chose to come here. So we're, we're really delighted that you're here. And what have you experienced now in the, the hour or so that, uh, that the event has been going on? Um, I experienced a lot of really positive energy. Mm -hmm. um, I was sitting there meditating in front of the reflecting pool and I realized that um, there's, a, there's a lightness, there's a lifting of energy and um, there's also a connection with what the work that we're doing here with the work that uh, is happening in other countries yes. uh, all around the globe today the, the consciousness is really high and uh, I could feel the energy of Mount Sky which is a place I've been to in Costa Rica a very very sacred site mm -hmm. um, just coming in here today um, and I felt just a lot of beings joining us here, mm -hmm. thrilled that we're doing the work that we're doing. Absolutely. This is a, a cosmic opening, isn't it, uh, today? And groups all around the world are connecting, not only through knowledge of our event, but all the other events that are going on um, everywhere. And people recognize what a significant day this is mm -hmm. and really want to um, declare their intent uh, to oneness you know to recognize the interconnectedness of all life so we're, we're so happy that you came and uh, hope you'll stay the rest of the day thank you i will be here for a little while and i will definitely come tonight and Great. Uh, i just really see and visualize this person to person without borders just going through the world to a world without borders the way that it's intended to be yes may it be so thank you <laughs> thank, thank you. you very much so the Declaration of Independence, which founded this nation, is now becoming, evolving into the Declaration of Interdependence, when we are all together working for a common future. The Declaration of Interdependence. Okay. Let this be the day when all the people on earth become the founding family of a new world that is truly born of the people, by the people, with the planet. May we as one whole family give birth to the same new world that is economically viable, ecologically flourishing, naturally sustainable, wholly fulfilling, and truly just. Let this day give birth to a new world, co-created to work in harmony, aligned by love, and grounded in the profound realization of our interconnection with each other, nature, and the source of all life. From this day forward, we consciously choose to live, love, and work together as one family on one planet, realizing one vision, a world of peace, abundance, joy, and freedom for all. Okay, and I'm going to ask you also to listen with your entire bodies with this and really give yourself permission to, to let these imagination statements really go inside. Imagine we claimed our power to create a whole new world, one that is economically viable, ecologically flourishing, naturally sustainable, wholly fulfilling, and truly just and how amazing it would be to live in such a world. Imagine all people collaborating everywhere and actually having fun ushering us in a new era of planetary healing, global community, 
and co-creative partnership with Earth. And imagine today is the day we begin working together as one family on one planet, realizing one vision, a world of peace, abundance, joy, and freedom for all. Let today be the day where out of many we become one. Oh